In Luke chapter 2, verse 11, it says, For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. For unto you is born. Now, I want to share something with you that might sound kind of mundane, a little bit simple. But listen, it is absolutely amazing. And here it is. Jesus was born. Now, I know that we don't have the day or the month or the time that Jesus was born. You know, sometimes people freak out and they say, you know, Jesus wasn't born on December 25th. The shepherds were in the field. They wouldn't have been in the field in December. But listen, having the actual day that Jesus was born really is not the most important thing. What is? What's, what's the most important thing? That he was actually born. God was born. And it says in John chapter 1, verse 14, it says that Jesus became flesh and dwelt among us. I mean, think about it. God left glory, came to earth, and he was born as a human being, born of a virgin. And so Jesus was born. Now, because Jesus was born, he had a human nature. Now, Jesus also, he had a divine nature. Jesus, one person, two natures. Jesus was both human and divine. And that's really what sets Jesus apart from all others. He, he's absolutely unique. He's the only one that was both fully man and fully God. And what's amazing is, is that his humanity did not lessen his deity, and his deity did not lessen his humanity. Again, fully man and fully God, one person, Jesus Christ. But again, Jesus, he had a human birth. How? Well, first of all, there was the miraculous conception of Mary's womb. And then nine months later, Jesus was born. And listen, she had all the normal labor pains, morning sickness, I'm sure, probably sending Joseph to the 7-Eleven in the middle of the night to get pickles and ice cream and all of that kind of thing. But listen, Mary had a normal pregnancy and then she gave birth to Jesus Christ. And so the birth was natural, but again, the conception was supernatural and so Jesus God was born and what would we ask why so that we as humans could have a spiritual birth and so get this God was born of man so that we could be born of God and John chapter 1 verse 12 it says but as many as received him to them he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name who were born get this not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor the will of man, but they were born of God. And so he, Jesus, was born of man so that we could be born of God.